managerial accounting, the budgeting process, we've been doing problem P6. And so far we've done the sales budget, which dri drives the production budget, which drives the inputs, materials, labor, and overhead budgets. And then we've also done the selling administrative and general budget, which we've learned is not driven by units produced, but by units sold. It's now year end, and it's time, well, it's not year end. It's now time to project what the year end numbers look like. So the year end numbers we've, that we first have to do is the cost of the goods manufactured. And you'll recall that direct materials had a beginning inventory of 156,000 ounces. And you'll recall also from the materials budget that each of those ounces costs a penny a piece. So as far as um, what do I put in the cost of the goods manufactured, it's not the ounces, it's the cost. So 156,000 times a penny means the value of my direct materials beginning inventory is $1,560. Now if I go to that direct material budget for water uh, and look at the bottom line, the bottom number, remember that check figure I gave you? It says that we need to go out and purchase $36,240 of water. Uh, now that's not ounces, that's dollars, right? Why? Because we're doing the cost of the goods manufactured budget. So what's available um, to be used is $37,800 of water are available for production. To which I am going to subtract my ending materials, my ending water, and uh, remember from that material purchases budget that we wanted ending materials of 240,000 ounces. And if that's the case, and it's a penny an ounce, what's the value of ending direct materials? Well, 240,000 times a penny is $2,400. That means that the difference between what was available for use and what was not used must have been used. So the direct materials used were $35,400. We then went to the direct labor budget and the direct labor budget said that our labor costs were going to be $1,416. And you remember that that's from the direct labor budget. Then we would look at our overhead budget and our overhead budget said for the whole year that we were going to budget a total of, let me find it, total of $23,700 of overhead costs. So my total manufacturing cost for the year, which include the materials, the labor, and the overhead. Is this coming back to you? This is previous chapters, isn't it? Materials plus labor plus overhead means my total manufacturing costs or my total current costs were $60,516. The problem tells me that there was no work in process at the beginning, no work in process at the end. So the total cost of the goods manufactured for those, all that water was 60516 So that's the cost of the goods manufactured. Now what we do with this is we can now figure out what does it cost me to make a bottle of water. And so what we're going to do is take the dollar value for the cost of the goods manufactured and I'm going to divide it by the units produced. So, cost 60516 is what we found. Units produced, well if I go back to that production budget, it says for the year we produced 177,000 bottles of water. So, units into cost, our cost per unit cost per bottle is going to be 34 cents. 
So how will I value the bottles produced of water? 34 cents a bottle. 